Okay, so some of the wood ash extract is in these plastic jugs here. Looks like the filtering uh, did a pretty good job. They've been setting for several days and there's hardly any sediment in there. So what I'm going to do is uh, try and remove some of the water by just evaporating it off using my hot plate. There's one liter. This is the uh, the darker colored is what I collected by allowing the wire to trickle all the way through the ash. The lighter color here is uh, what I decanted off the top later. So that explains the difference in color. So I'll just let this heat up. And after it's reduced down some, I'll just keep adding this until I get it all concentrated. Then I'll see what I can crystallize out of it. Okay, so here the volume is reduced down to about 500 milliliters, which is about half. So uh, I've also added a few quartz chips to uh, act as boiling stones uh, to prevent any bumping. So I'm going to go ahead and top that off again and bring the volume back up to one liter. Then I'll continue uh, reducing it down. Okay, it's reduced down to about 500 milliliters, and I'm noticing that there's some crystals that have formed. Uh, the tiny needle-like floating around in there, the camera may not be able to see them. Anyway, at this point what I'm going to do is turn off the heat, let it cool down, and see what uh, crystals may... Uh, form in there when it cools. Okay, so I have, I changed my mind. I didn't let it cool all the way down. I noticed that as it started to cool, the, the crystals seemed to uh, go back into solution, so it may indicate that there's an inverse solubility curve to whatever substance is trying to crystallize. So anyway, what I've done is I boiled it down some more and then I added the remainder of the uh, liquid that I had. And uh, at this point, I, I see an interesting uh, observation. On top of the liquid is what definitely appears to be soap bubbles. So I'll uh, move the camera and, and uh, get a better look at that. Also, the crystals are are back. If you look in there, you can see them flitting about. They're small, needle-like. To be continued. Now that it's been sitting in the freezer or the refrigerator overnight. Uh, it looks like there's something uh, crystallized in the bottom, so I'll run it through a filter and see what's see what's down there.
doesn't look like there are any actual crystals in there. It just looks like some of the organic contaminants coalesced into some little flat flakes. Doing a good job of clogging up the filter. I don't think there's anything there that I'll save. I, when that's done filtering, I'll put it all back in the hot plate and reduce it down some more. Okay, the volume is now reduced down to about 400 milliliters. I'm going to turn off the hot plate and finish drying this down to a powder using this uh, glass pie plate and I'll put this in the electric skillet. So here's a story about a man and his wife sitting and having breakfast. Margaret said to John, oh John, if I would die, would you get married right away? John said, Well, that's the darnest thing. Here it is, a beautiful morning. We're sitting here having a nice breakfast together. And you bring up this terrible thing about death. I'm not going to talk about it. Forget about it. Just forget about it. But she didn't forget about it, and she brought the same thing up that night, and he gave the same reply. This went on for about three days. She would ask, if I would die, would you get married? And finally he gave up and said, yes, I would get married again. Now I hope that settles this. So then she asked, would you sell the house? John said, no. No, I wouldn't sell the house. So then she asked, Would you sell our bed? He said, No, I wouldn't do that. I don't see any reason to do that. So then she said, Well, you certainly wouldn't let her touch my golf clubs. John thought for a moment, then he replied, No, no I wouldn't. She's left-handed. Seven, seven grams of dirty brown powder. I think I can uh, clean that up and I'm going to have to roast it to do that. 
and I have a brand new roasting pot I'm going to try out. It's actually a stainless steel ashtray. But to do this, I'm going to have to go out to the greenhouse where I can get good ventilation. So I'll, uh, I'll do that and uh, we'll see how it goes. Okay, here we are out in the greenhouse. Now right now the bowl is empty. The first thing I'm going to do is um, heat it up and uh, burn off any uh, oils or anything and just see how it takes the heat before I actually put the powder in. Okay, it looks like that's going to work, so now I'm going to load the powder in. Okay, let the roasting begin. Okay, I've stirred it a few times. Looks like the brown color is pretty much gone. It's turned to gray. It's probably been about 15 minutes. I'll probably roast it a little bit more and then call it good. Okay, everything's cooled down now. So it looks like uh, just looks like ash, gray. Interesting, since it came from ashes, now it looks like ashes again. However, I'm betting it's uh, not the same. I'm betting it's mostly soluble. With the uh, hopefully with the impurities turned to carbon, and they will just be able to be filtered out. So back to the lab. 
I'll weigh what I got and then I'll see if I can uh, put it into solution and see what I can get out of it. Looks like 79.58 grams. Okay, back into the beaker with it. I know the beaker looks dirty, but it's as clean as I could get it. Apparently it got etched a little bit from the hydroxides that were present in the solution previously. So, just be warned, you may uh, get your beaker etched a little bit if you do it the way I did. Distilled water. I think there's still a little bit in the roasting pan. I can get out. It's nice and black, like there's probably a lot of carbon in there now. Add a little more water. What I'll do now is uh, heat this up, make everything, make sure everything's uh, dissolved as much as possible. Then I'll try and filter it off, and hopefully we'll get a clear liquid out of it. Okay, after it's been stirred and heated, and then. Let cook to cool down and uh, settle out. Looks like there's a very clear liquid in there now. I can probably filter that out and it'll look really good.